Jack, you're the number one seed. With that comes a lot of pressure. How do you handle the pressure? Uh, I don't try to think about it a lot. Uh, I was been the number one seed in the 12s too, so I have a little bit of experience, but yeah. Talk about uh, this type of tournament and, and how great it is to play in these, these type of tournaments in this level. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, uh, when I was younger, I wasn't amazing. I used to be young and not very good, but <laughs> yeah, so it's awesome now. So obviously that means you've put in a lot of work. Talk about that hard work you've put in. Yeah, uh, train a lot, put in a lot of hours, and it paid off. What's the best thing about playing a tournament like this? Um, probably competing and having fun. Obviously, you're a very competitive person. You don't get to be yeah. number one on a level like this. Talk about how competitive you are. Uh, I'm very competitive ever since I was little. Uh, every board game I lose, I'd cry. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Uh, how blessed are you and the rest of the players to be here playing a tournament like this here? Obviously, you got to thank your parents, but it, it takes it's, it's a team effort, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I'm very blessed. It's it's awesome. I know a lot of people don't have the opportunity, so I'm very thankful. How have you enjoyed the tournament? Um, obviously, it's been raining, but but the, there's more to it than rain. Uh, have you enjoyed the tournament? Yeah, it's been pretty fun. The rain's bad, but yeah, the food's awesome. So yeah. Do you make a lot of friends when you come to a place like this? Yeah. I guess Andrew would be one, so, yep. Okay. Anything you would like to tell younger players who may be five or six, seven, eight, who want to attain your level of, of excellence, uh, what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, probably keep working hard and just stay with it. Thank you, sir, for your time. Yep. Thank you.